Well, good morning. Today is Monday, March 30th. I'm happy you're joining me. So school begins today. No doubt many of you have already started. I'm sure you'll be working very hard today, reading, writing, drawing, doing experiments. I'm sure there'll be a lot of fun things to do. So just like you, I'm working from home today too. Uh, sometimes it can be hard to work from home. There are lots of distractions, right, Wishbone? And I have found that if you set up a little workstation away from the TV, you can stay just a little bit more focused. So why don't you try that today? Find a space where it's just your learning station and use that. For our students who need, um, lunch continues to be made available uh, from 11 to 1 at entrance C20 at the high school. Thank you, Mr. Fetchko and our food service workers for doing this very important job. So no doubt many of you have heard that several cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Mount Lebanon. This was to be expected, and I'm sure that uh, there will be several more over time. So should we be scared? Well, being scared is normal. We all get a little scared sometimes. But here's what I take great comfort in. There are a lot of smart people working very hard to keep us all safe. There are a lot of good doctors, nurses, and helpers at our hospitals working really hard right now to take great care of us. So everyone needs to continue to do our part. So we need to wash our hands, make sure we do that for 20 seconds or longer. And when we cough or sneeze, we need to do it into our elbow or into a tissue. Uh, remember not to touch your face and keep a safe distance from people and stay home if you can. So if we all follow those rules, I think we'll all be pretty safe. So now for our mindful moments. Wishbone, you ready? Okay, I think Wishbone's ready. So today we are up to the letters U and V from our book, Alphabrets. And they look like two fun uh, ways of breathing today. So the first one is the underwater breath. So for this one, paddle your arms, imagining you are underwater. Breathe in and out, blowing bubbles through your scuba gear. Okay, ready? Everybody pretend like we're swimming underwater. And breathe in through your nose and blow out those bubbles through your scuba gear. Come on, keep swimming. And out, lots of big bubbles. Lots and lots of good bubbles. Well, that was great. Did you like that wishbone? That was exciting for him. So that was our underwater breath. Oh, and this one we're going to make a little bit of noise, our voice breath. So take a big breath in and sing la as you breathe out. Big breath in, sing, and sing la out, okay? Here we go, big breath in, la. Great, another big breath in. Let's see if we can go a little bit longer. In through the nose. And la. Let's see if we can go just a little bit longer on this last try. Ready, wishbone? Big breath in. La. That was great. So tomorrow we move on with our alphabets. We're almost getting to the very end of our alphabets. So today we're gonna to do something with uh, Bob. Let me find Bob here. Bob, are you around? Bob, where are you? Uh-oh. Good morning, Bob. Morning. It's nice to see you. So we're gonna do some breathing with Bob. And for this, I made a little graphic, or we made a little graphic. 
and we're going to do something called box breathing. And it's pretty simple to do. You breathe in, for your, in through your nose, you hold for four, you blow out through your mouth for four, you hold for four, breathe in for, through your nose for four, and you just keep going round and round and round. And don't worry, Bob and I will help you. So we'll take a big breath through our nose, hold it for four, breathe it out for four, hold it for four, in breath through the nose. So you just keep going in a box and counts of four. And you can find this information on the website right under the superintendent's name. So I'll show you that later. So here we go. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose. You ready, Bob? Wait. Okay. Breathe in through the nose for four. Go. One, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, last time. In, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, and great. What'd you think, Bob? Pretty good. Wishbone, what'd you think? Wishbone kind of likes Bob. So why do we always spend so much time breathing? So this is why we do it. And I mentioned this the other day. When we consciously breathe deep breaths in and long breaths out, we stimulate something called the parasympathetic nervous system. When the parasympathetic nervous system is aroused, it produces a feeling of relaxation and calm in the mind and the body. So the more we can remember to breathe in and breathe out, even when we're nervous, even when we're scared sometimes, the better it will be for our mind and our body. So thank you very much, Bob, for breathing with us. He'll be back with us. And thanks for, thanks for Wishbone for being so nice. Uh, a few days ago, I suggested that you could write Wishbone an email and Wishbone would answer them. And so today I'm going to read a few of his email that Wishbone got this week. So this one came from Leah. Dear Wishbone, I enjoy seeing you every day. You are so cute. How old are you? Do you enjoy being on the camera? What's your favorite activity? Well, Wishbone and I responded to, to that email. We told her, we told Leah that we think Wishbone's about two years old and he does get lots of email every day. And his favorite activity, Wishbone, what's your favorite activity? Going for a walk. That's right, Wishbone. Uh, here's a second email. This one come, came from Michael and Anna Lee. Hi, Wishbone, how are you today? We love seeing you in the morning. My sister and I wanted to know what kind of dog you are. You know what kind of dog Wishbone is? He's a lovey dog. He loves to be held. He loves to be with people. So that's the kind of dog Wishbone is. And the last email today came from a young lady named Becca. So Becca said she has decided to send good, good vibes throughout Mount Lebanon. I plan to do this by painting rocks, writing inspirational messages on them, and placing them all around Mount Lebanon. So little rocks like this, Becca sent me a nice picture of it. She painted it. I think she painted yellow and green and blue and she put rainbows on some. And it's funny, when Wishbone and I were walking around last night, we saw somebody, one of our neighbors, who had put some inspirational rocks out around the neighborhood. Uh, one had, have a great day. Another one had just a big smiley face on it. So Becca came up with a really nice activity to do and maybe you can do that today too. 
Wishbone liked the idea of putting those rocks around too. So now it's time for a little meditation, and this is good for everybody. Again, it can be a time for quietness, a time for reflection, a time for prayer, or just taking a break. But if you like, you can follow me. So this is good for everybody from three years old to 80 years old. So here we go. Let's find a comfortable place to sit. Which one you sit too? Let's put our feet flat on the floor. And if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes. If you want to just put look down at the ground, you can do that too. So let's take a few big breaths like we talked about earlier. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's let our body settle more. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And we can just return to our regular breathing. And just for a few moments, let's hear what we hear in our house or our apartment or wherever we are. Can you hear the sound of the wind outside? Can you hear the sound of someone running water? What do you hear in this moment, right here, right now? And let's let our body relax a little bit more. Sometimes we adults get some tension in our shoulders and we can let go of that for a minute. And start at the very top of our heads. We're going to scan all the way down through our bodies. From the top of our head, through our neck and our shoulders, down through our back, and our seat, our, our thighs, and our knees, and our shins, all the way down to our toes. Let's, let's scan down one more time. From the top of our head down to the bottom of our toes, scan slowly down. See if you can feel the tension or, or release that. Just notice it and move on. And let's take some regular breaths in and out. Let's try 10 of them. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And eight more at your own pace. And on this last one, breathe in peace and calm. And exhale with a big smile. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes or sit up. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Well, thank you for joining me for that. So meditation not, may not be for everyone, but taking a few moments to settle down, relax, and just breathe is good for everyone. So we always end our mornings with a little mindful self-compassion. So you can give yourself a big hug and put your hand over your heart. Push when you're ready. And you can repeat to yourself quietly, may I be happy, may I be healthy, and may I be at peace. Well, thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow morning.